son and her, they were both fighting, they were all fighting. And there is this guy, this fierce warrior from the other side, he was an enemy. And he was trying to kill the prophet, right? So he had this, he's on this big horse, he looks terrifying. And she comes and she stands in front of him. She stands in front of him. And he was like, what are you doing here, you woman? Get out, get out the way, like, I'm trying to, like, fight. And then she was like, and she didn't move. And because he was frustrated, so he pushed her. And she still didn't move. And then he took his sword, the other, the, like, the handle of the sword, and he cracked it her on her self, uh, cubicle brain, um, bone, bone. And that's when she fought, fell down, right? She fell down, right? And then her son came. She's like, Mom, he was like, Mom, Mom, how, are you okay? Are you okay? And she was like, what are you doing? Go defend the prophet. Leave me alone. Go defend the prophet. And this is like, this is a man's brain belief. She was like a woman that was better than a thousand men. And you think a woman like that was criticized, maybe? No. The prophet, in fact, he commended her. He he commended her and for her bravery and for her skills in battle. And this, and like most women, she was most definitely respected. And even today after her name is Sayyid anha, which means may God be peace for her. So, as you can see, like Muslim women, they can be rich and powerful. They can be scholars and teachers. They can be brave and tough fighters, but they are, they are most definitely respected by all. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Treat your women well and be kind to them, for they are your, committed, um, your, part, your partners and committed helpers.